Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. As a tutorial company, we deliver our movies with chapter markers so that our content can be quickly located using the chapter menu in any supported player that supports chapter markers. On a Mac, that would be Apple's QuickTime Player or the Apple TV app. As can sometimes happen, chapter markers can be misspelled and you don't want to have to output the entire movie just to fix one or two chapter markers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with that using Apple's compressor. Here I have a movie open that I just exported from Final Cut Pro 10 in the HEVC codec. Clicking the Chapter Index button in Apple's QuickTime Player app reveals four named chapter markers with image thumbnails. The third chapter marker labeled Triage should only have one G, not two. And let's say that your boss or client needs this movie uploaded in the next 15 minutes. Now you could go back to Final Cut Pro 10, locate the errant chapter marker, change it, then re-output the movie, but that will take too much time. With Compressor open, I'll drag the movie into the batch window and click the Next Chapter button to jump to each marker. The marker name appears in the Marker Properties to the right. Once I locate the marker, I'll make my edit. By the way, if you wanted to use another thumbnail image to represent your chapter marker, click this button to choose a new frame from the movie. Now go to the Settings tab and locate any Apple preset. It really doesn't matter which one. I'll use this one from the Video Sharing Services group and drop it onto the job. In the Video tab of the inspector, place a check next to Enable Video Pass-Through. Enabling this option tells Compressor to ignore the video data in the movie and simply pass it along so it can be copied into a new movie. As you can tell by the lack of available settings in the Video Properties section, the video will not be touched by the encoder. There's also an identical option for the audio. Click the Audio tab then place a check next to Enable Audio Pass-Through. If you look at the settings at the top of the inspector, it's the same settings the movie was imported with. In the file name section, I'll change the name to The Second Date, which is the name of the movie. Choose a location, then start the batch. The movie encoding takes only a few seconds, because all Compressor is doing is rewrapping the video and audio data into a new movie. I'll locate the exported movie, open it in QuickTime Player, then verify that the chapter name has been updated. And sure enough, the problem is fixed. And now you can upload the corrected movie to your finger drumming client. If you like this video, we produced a tutorial on how to use Apple's compressor, including a bunch of really useful encoding recipes you can put to work in your own projects. Check it out in the link below. And thanks for watching.